But first, trees and power lines taken down by hurricane force winds here in the valley. Things are finally starting to calm down after ripping across the valley all day as Mother Nature made her presence felt in every corner of our valley. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is live near Russell and Polaris with a look at some of the mess it left behind. Yeah, Carl, it's still a little windy out here, more of a wind chill than those raging winds we saw blowing trash and dirt all the way across this road. So everything is people driving. You see some of that trash only stopped by the fences here, but it was a lot more than just trash being blown around by these raging winds. It's so beautiful. It's starting to look a lot like Christmas with snow flurries on Mount Charleston, but on the valley floor, it was just cold and windy even leaving some businesses in the dark as the raging winds tore down power poles. The winds reaching hurricane forces in some areas, lifting above ground pools off the ground, toppling trees, light poles, and even a few advertisements. The biggest impact many at home felt was from the stinging cold and the large gusts grabbing cars heading down the road and the small dust storms reducing visibility all over the valley. But there were some positives that came from the windstorm as the Christmas decorations got a little more animated as they danced to Mother Nature's tune. And we did hear reports of small snow flurries that weren't sticking on the ground in the Summerlin and West Las Vegas area, but didn't get any of that on camera. And the winds did cause minor delays at McCarran, but checked on our way over here. Everything appears to be back normal there. But Dan, the big question everybody has right now is, are we going to see a repeat performance of these winds in the coming days? You know, it looks like, Brian, we will, but not as strong as today. There's the good news, but still windy tomorrow. Take a look at your map now. This is uh, your wind gust today, the peak wind gust. The airport, 48 miles per hour, but Summerlin, yes, yeah, 64 miles per hour, 68 for Red Rock. Look it up on the mountain, 72 miles per hour. And yes, hurricane force for Hoover Dam, 74 bare minimum you get for hurricanes. All right, so wind advisory in effect through tomorrow until 3 o'clock. Winds are still going to be strong through the day. Not as strong as today and overnight tonight, still breezy to windy. You can see those uh, sustained winds in the 20s. Overnight temperatures not changing a whole lot into the mid to low 40s across the valley, but much colder temperatures moving in. A breakdown of that forecast is coming up. And new tonight, a family in 